Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game today. In deck number 744, we're going to talk about Volo, the Guide to Monsters. And the fact that this deck took me long, I put in more actual work on this deck than most, I think any other deck I've ever done. We'll get to why. Volo is the one who, who wrote monster manuals and things like that in the D&D world, but we got two green blue for a 3-2 human wizard. You're a wizard, Volo. When you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with a creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. So let me get this straight. When built around that ability, all my creatures are buy one, get one free. You play one and you get two. The real one and a token copy. Um, okay. So the problem is, it's a reverse tribal. You don't want any cards, any creatures in the deck to share a creature type. Um, so let's jump into the creatures, right? Now, there are a few things you don't want. Like, you don't want legendary creatures because they just died to the legend rule. However, there were two legends that I deemed... Too good to pass up. Tatiova, because, I mean, it's Tatiova. And then Yisan. Um, this is, Yisan is mainly more for, yes, you miss the trigger, uh, the Volos trigger, but it's a panic button, if you will, if you just gotta have that acidic slime or that answer, because we have a lot of answers here. We have, and now keep in mind, some of these... I mentioned Acidic Slime, but you're spending five mana, and if Volos is out, you're getting two Acidic Slimes. Uh, that's beautiful. So, Meteor Golem, another one I would love to get a free copy of. Uh, Peregrine Drake, oh, that's nuts. Burnished Heart, oh my gosh. So, with Burnished Heart, yeah, yeah, we can ramp our mana. Now, when coupled with Mana War, because Mana War comes in and we're going to get two Mana Wars, one is going to bounce the original Mana War back to our hand, the other one is going to bounce the Burnished Heart back to our hand so that we can keep playing and getting copies of the Burnished Heart to get all them lands out, right? Speaking of getting the lands out, we got that Beanstalk Giant. Um, Conclave Naturalist is not bad once you get to um, Ant Queen I mean a 5-5 five, five, five that makes little babies um, Golgari Grave Troll I'd like to have two of those even all the way down to like the mana creatures you know the Gyre Engineer uh, the Mana Leaf Pixie by the way this is all the creatures so, um, Terastodon, Terastodon is a monster when you get two of them. Um, just beaters, you know, like Simic Sky Swallower, Ancient Silverback, I, Regenerate Matters, folks, uh, the Green Dragon, Merkfield Liege, beautiful card, Thicket Basilisk, Blade Griff, a prototype, I mean... Destroying some permanents here. Knoll Hunter. If you attack with power six, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay. Wall of Blossoms. We know why it's in there because I just love to draw cards. Uh, Emperor Crocodile. Stop laughing. <laughs> Bane of Balagat. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine two Bane of Balagats for seven mana? Mm. Sandstone Oracle drawn all them cards. Uh, Ambush Viper, also known as the Green Doom Blade. You just play it in the middle of combat and flash block, death touch. Now you've got two for the price of one. Hydra Broodmaster, just all the Hydras. Just Hydra and Hydra and Monstrosity Hydra and yeah. Um, Terra Stomper, I mean, can't be countered and it's an 8-8 Trample for six mana. That was kind of not bad. Uh, Timur Sabretooth, is the MVP because he can 
You can spend the mana to return the original copy to your hand if you want more copies uh, to just keep casting it and keep getting that other, other copy. Wonder is in there. It's a creature. We don't really care for a copy. We don't want a copy. I mean, not. We want it in the graveyard, you know. Um, Fertilid can get nuts. Avatar of Might, just because it's... Uh, now, nobody's going to have more creatures than us, but it is an 8-8 Trampler. Spore Frog, you want to talk about a Teamer Sabertooth target right here. Cast a Spore Frog, get two Spore Frogs. Keep the token on the board, bounce the original back to the hand. Uh, yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Spiny Starfish. A Regenerator that met, yeah. And then, you know, Seedborn Muse, because multiple Seedborns is not at all busted whatsoever. I mean, especially, you know, it's not like she's got anything to abuse all that mana with. Um, I do like Death's Presence. Whenever a creature you control dies, you put X-1-1 one, one counters on target creature you control where X is the power of the creature that died. We're going to have creatures that die. I mean... Our whole shtick is doubling up on creatures, right? So let's look at how, how we're going to cast some of these. We have a soul ring. Uh, the, the, the Simic Signet, Locket, and Clue Stone, along with the Hedron Archive that just looks perfect in that old frame. Uh, a Rampant Growth, Search for Tomorrow, and a Ranger's Path. Um... Now, I don't exactly know how many of these things that we're getting. We got the Growth Spiral on 2, Eureka Moment on 4, Urban Evolution on 5. So we're missing, what, the 3? <laughs> um, harmonize. Rites of Flourishing. Y'all know I love my double meat, double cheese. Uh, Return of the Wild Speaker. And Future Sight. Future Sight is card draw. Granted, everybody at the table is seeing what the top of it is, but it's no secret we're playing reverse tribal. We're going to have creatures. Everybody knows that. So, and the ability to just peel card after card off the top of your library is kind of like card draw. Uh, got a couple oddballs. Fog, because it's just a great card. Overrun wins games. I mean, it really does. Little bit of removal. This is where our blue comes in at. You know, the negate, counter spell, rapid hybridization, spell pierce, arcane denial, etherize is a card people don't see coming. Oh, you're coming at me? Take a turn off recast and all that junk. And then to return to nature. So then we have our non-basic lands. Now, there is quite a bit here. I did use some that I don't normally use because I want to be... <laughs> you really want to have one of either color or at any point in the curve, right? So, um, we're using Woodland Stream, Simic Guildgate, Thornwood Falls, Bark Channel Pathway, Temple of Mystery, Quandrix Campus, Vivid Grove, Command Tower, Rogue's Passage, Evolving Wilds, Terramorphic Expanse, and then the three I don't normally use, Rupture Spire, Archway Commons, and Transguild Promenade. I know those are less desirable ones, but I figure... You know, Simic can make that work. Now, the reason why it took me so long to build this particular deck is because I went into my token maker and I made token copies of every single creature in the deck. Well, except for the two legendaries because there's no point. And that way, I'll have the accurate representation because when you have... I know y'all played a game to, to where you've had like several different tokens, several different types of tokens in play, and it's just hard to uh, to keep track of which one's which. And if he makes a, a, a token copy of every single one, 
that's going to get hard to track real quick, right? So, I figure... Yeah, I'm not left-handed. Um, to make those token creatures, and I wanted the artwork to match, so I had to get the artwork and copy the text. Anyway, um, I could have probably built three or four picks in the time. We'll put 744 on the wall. I'm actually itching to play that one. Um, so, y'all may have actually seen me play it by now. I, I don't know. Sometimes I appear on streams and whatnot on, uh, for other channels and play, so... Mm, but... That's what we've got for today. It was a ton of fun to build, uh, and I think it'll be a ton of fun to play. So I do appreciate y'all watching, but right now we're going to shuffle. <laughs>